Hi guys, let's see how to get this to this. Then so please stay continue to watch. Yep, so I got a stencil at the Makeup Show Chicago, so I'll be using that awesome stencil by Bad Ass Stencils. And I'm using my Makeup Forever Technicolor palette. I'll be using the white, the blue, and the green. And I'm going to put the blue on the outsides of my eye and my crease. And just blend up into kind of like a large wing. So kind of make like a cut crease and then blend it out into kind of like a wing. Kind of like a bubble. And then I just took the green and I put that on my lid. Or the green and the yellow. I'm sorry. Actually, I think the yellow made the green. Anyway, so I'm using the yellow. So just put the yellow on your lid. reinforcing the blue and then I'm going to take the white and put that on my brow bone. The white is very, very prominent so uh, a, li a little bit for all these colors goes a really, really long way. And this look, this eye makeup look does not have to be perfect. In fact, messy and blendy is not what we really wanted. And now I'm just putting down a base. I believe I used uh, just my Revlon whipped cream foundation. I just put that on, on all over. And um, I'm going to use that stencil and I actually put the cream sticks on the actual stencil, stencil. <laughs> because it was not working with me trying to apply it like that, um, like holding it down putting the cream stick on my face that was not working. So I just drew all over the cream stick, uh, like the colors that I wanted, and I used uh, all these MAC cream sticks. I used uh, Black is Black. High Def Scion, Landscape Green, and I also use Basic Red, and I use Pure White. So I use like all my cream sticks that I had, and now I'm just pressing that on my face, and I colored it more, and I took the cream sticks into my hairline as well, and I was dancing. I did not have to go potty. And then I also used some powder to reinforce some places as well, and my hands got extremely messy, and um, so definitely keep like a paper towel baby wipe by you to wipe off your hands or you know be right be in your bathroom wash off your hands whatever um, because a lot of it's just like <laughs> it's just really sticky and it's very much hand work and now I just used um, my baby baby wipe just to stipple in some of the spots that were kind of heavy. And now I'm just putting powder just to like enforce some lines and stuff like that. Just so everything won't be so hard. Like I used it definitely around my nose because I didn't want to put that stencil, that harsh stencil around my nose because it was kind of sore. I put that around my brows. Um, I didn't block them out just because I was I was literally just playing and this is what the look came out as. So I'm just defining things more with my powder. Um, I used, again, the Technicolor powder palette I use the green and the blue and then I'm actually putting the green and the blue in my brows as well just a little bit um, if you want to black out your brows like go right ahead and go for it um, I did not just because and like I made a mistake and then I fixed it so that was fun and cool uh, just to make things like less harsh There we go, we're putting that cream stick up in the, my hairline. We're just putting it in my finger. Again, so I'll have another baby wipe on hand. And yes, this did easily come out of my hair. So do not worry. It was kind of like that hair chalk feeling. Um, so whatever like that color was closest to my hair, that's the color I put basically. And um, that big area open on my forehead, I put that white, pure white there, and I just kind of dotted that all over my face. There's nothing really to this look, it was just being super creative, but I wanted to show you guys, because I think I I had a lot of fun, and um, this is a really cool look. Oh, and also, my contacts, no, they did not hurt me, but they kept moving around in my eye. Um, so they kept, like, turning and twisting and everything like that. And now I'm just blocking up my lips with some extra foundation. 
<laughs> I kept twitching like uh, a reptile the whole time. And I put what's left over in that stencil on my lips um, and on my chin a little bit there. Um, I'm just kind of, just kind of go with, with it. Just kind of go with it, guys. And of course I'm saying to you, and I'm a dip, and you can't really see, but I'm putting white there. Just kind of stippling the white in with the stick and with my brush. Or, what did I think of? I am, I cannot talk tonight, I can't do anything tonight. that white just kind of offset everything and it was really what I needed and now I'm taking that red and just putting that on my nose, putting it on really heavily and then I'm just kind of putting that down and around my lips and around my nose and just stepping that in using my fingers to kind of create a very like, bloody effect. Um, you don't have to use the blood. I absolutely love fake blood and how fake blood looks most of the time, um, and I just, I don't know, I know it's so, um, impractical, and it's very, um, easy to do fake blood, and they always tell me at school, like, don't just add fake blood to something and think that your look will be, become awesome, because it won't. But yeah, basically this is my whole complete, completed look. Um, the blood is optional, like I said. But it just kind of made everything look cool, like he just got done with a meal or something like that. My little reptile friend. So I hope you guys enjoy this look. And uh, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions for another video, just put them in the comments down below. And I love you guys, and bye!